Welcome back. Are you ready to learn lots more magic? You are? Perfect. Well, today I'm going to perform the crayon illusion. But first, do you know what an illusion is? Okay, well, an illusion is a deceptive image or appearance. Something that looks like something that's not really there. Okay, so now I'm going to perform the crayon illusion. Music, please. Just imagine that somehow, somewhere, I could make these crayons disappear with just one motion. Are you ready? Let's begin. And somehow the crayons have disappeared by magic. And now, I bet you're wondering, how did she do that? Well, let me show you how and you can perform it at home. Okay, so as I said, you need some crayons, a crayon box. If not, you can make your own little crayon box and you can make your own little crayons with pencils or with paper. That's totally up to you. Some scissors, but please let your adults use them and sellotape, that's all you need. So this was the trick. We made the crayons vanish, like so. Quite impressive. Okay, but this is how we can make this effect. So as we, I'm holding the crayons in place and as I let go, they drop down. It's like that. And the crayons inside actually look like this. They're half the size, as you can see. Now this was very tricky to make just because there's 24 in here. If you've got a small single packet of crayons, then this will be nice and easy for you. If like me, you've got a 24 pack of crayons, <laughs> this is just going to be a little bit trickier, but do not worry, it is possible. You can do it. Okay, for the effect, you will need to take the crayons out the pack and you will need lots of help from an adult here. Okay, so the first step is to cut the pack of the crayons. So just this bit here where there is an image of crayons, that is what you're going to cut out. It might not be this shape, it might be square, that's totally fine. You're just going to cut that part out where the crayons would normally be. Of course, you do need an adult to help you with this bit because it's, it can be very tricky. Getting around them corners was tricky. Okay, so that would be your first step. Feel free to pause this video at any point and we're going to do this step by step. So first step, cut the crayon box. Second step would be to cut your crayons to the correct size. Now this is trial and error. I would begin by cutting them in half and you can do this by just snapping them. So you can just snap them like so. That's nice and easy or you can use scissors, you have to again be careful. Okay, but you do need to make sure that they're all the same size. So if you are doing this like so, just make sure that they're the same size. So when you put them together, it's gonna to be a bit easier. Okay, so you need to do this with all your crayons. You need to make them all shorter. So they do in fact end up looking like this. Now I have three layers because that's how they fit in my box if you can see that there okay so you just need to cut your crayons shorter then once you've done your first row or if you just need a first row then that's brilliant you're ready to go and perform your trick but if you have three rows then just create your three rows chop them all down and then of course you're going to use your sellotape to put them in place. This might be a little fiddly and you might need some help just because they will move around. So you need to keep them in place and just wrap your sellotape around. I used lots of sellotape on here so they would stay in place. You can of course put them on a little wooden board that might be easier or a little lollipop stick that might hold them together a bit better. I did not have that, so I just used sellotape. So once they look like mine and they're all chopped and they're all, they're a lot smaller than what they were before, okay? That's the size difference. And you put them together with your sellotape so they're not going to move, they're not going to fall anywhere. Okay, that's nice and compact. Third step, and this is the final step to your trick. I'm going to pop them in the bottom and shut your crayon pack. 
and show the crayons to your audience and just say to your audience look make sure you can see the crayons really are there and you're squeezing the box together but just make this nice and natural slight squeeze on the crayons so that's holding them at the top of the box and your audience can see that the crayons really are in there now when you do this motion you're just going to let go and you're going to release so you were holding it nice and tight before and then you just release so it's nice and loose to be honest i think i needed to chop my crayons down just a little bit more so they're a bit further because you can actually see a little bit of the top there so if that happens then just lower the bottom of the box and then they've got more room to go to but just make sure the first step is correct and you have broken them down enough and that ladies and gentlemen is the crayon trick so let me show you again they are at the top you just squeeze them gently and as you bring your hand across you're going to drop with your hand like so and they fall to the bottom of the box well i hope you enjoy performing the crayon illusion i hope you all enjoy performing the crayon illusion effect and don't forget to <coughs> <coughs> oh sorry about that the curly whirly <clears throat> Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I will see you tomorrow for lots more magic. Bye-bye!